you're the holy one. You're the one who wants to become whole and complete and you're working on yourself diligently and you're doing a good job because you're here. But you also have this responsibility of being really awake. You can't just fall asleep into this collective unconscious unconsciousness that is dragging the humanity you know into this dark place so what you want to do is you want to recognize it and in that recognition of it that what is going on and stay in your center not a not Fall into the trap. Stay, refuse falling into the trap. Stay into your center. It doesn't matter what's going on in the outer world. It's irrelevant once you discover the inner world. You begin to discover your power of who you are and what you've got. Your power your heart, the heart chakra, that no one can take away from you. It's impossible. But you could be hypnotized to imagine that you are helpless. Imagining that you are insignificant and you're separated and you may be finished, you may die, you may be destroyed. It's in an imagination. It's something you can be hypnotized to believe it, but it's not true. There's nothing true about it at all, not even for a moment. So that's what happens to the co collective, the collective uh, Consciousness, majority of humanity, they fall asleep into the dream. And then they just become like a robot and they're reacting to whatever is going on. Yeah, when we are projecting our state of consciousness, our well-being, and we're projecting it on a world outside of ourselves, and we have no awareness that, first of all, the world outside of yourself, it's an animation of what is going on inside. So, you know, it's like inside out. It's like of not realizing, okay, the outer world is a reflection is what's going on in my inner world. Now, there are people who come and say, okay, well, if I learn this, I can manipulate things. So I'm just going to work on my inner world so, and so I can manifest things. You got to be careful with that one too, because that's what is being sold right now in pseudo-spirituality is to teach you how you can manifest things and get what you want. And that's a dangerous area because getting what you want is just not material stuff. It's like, how can I maybe manipulate other people to do what I want them to do? Or manipulating somebody to love me 
or it's not just trying to manipulate things to get money or cars or whatever or another home or those kind of things it's uh converting people into your soldiers become your soldiers so you got to be aware of that what i'm saying is that the utter world is a manifestation of what is going on in your own psyche it, so by becoming aware of it we're not talking about finding ways of manipulation that's another trap you can fall into and god knows where that one is going to go so it's basically what i'm referring to is to become aware of it and to become to come here in this moment like what happened when we were doing our meditation or what happens when many different times we've done our meditations together whether collectively or privately when we've been together uh when we dive into the present moment when you do that this is not something i give you this is not something is being transmitted this is something just being guided you know i'm just guiding you to go inwards and you dive inside yourself and all of a sudden expansion takes over all of a sudden story of the world is going on outside disappears is not here and you're just in this leveled place it's flat it's level what i'm talking when i say level i'm not referring to boring okay because i have people come and tell me well zarathustra diving into this place of the oneness is so boring that's also a trick of the mind is playing this game with you what's war what was boring about like the meditation with it i don't know how much how many of you did you go into the groove how many of you went into this place of total expansion and comfort and love and silence okay right was it boring did you find that boring or bliss blissful blissful yes boring mm -mm. was it blissful okay right so there's nothing boring about it it's amazing and what do we do you went into you cut through you just open the veil you cut through the bs the story the mind is playing and whatever is going the outside uh, other world you disregarded the stuff and you brought your attention inwards to the truth of who you are the presence now your being and then what happens it's like wow a complete expansion equilibrium it's flat it's there's no spikes of emotional ups and downs and the worries and the fears and all these feelings of uncertainties of what's going to happen to me and what's going to happen to the world because when you're unconscious and you don't have any training you have no awareness it's so frightening it's so disturbing and you can look around talk to your relatives your family your friends people who are really identified with what is going on in the world and see what is going on to them 